Hi there. Okay, so using the checklist. Um, my students love the checklist, um, and I love checklists. So um, here is how I make my checklists. You can do it a couple different ways, so you can play around with it from semester to semester. Um, but the technical pieces is what I'm going to show you. We're going to start by first activating it. Um, so underneath Course Admin and Tools, we have to come down to Checklist and make sure it's turned on. Um, each semester it will shut them down and so you have to make sure and activate it for the semester. Then they will live underneath Activities and Checklist. Okay, so we're going to create a new checklist. You are going to name it, and this is what's going to appear as your hyperlink. Um, so I always start by naming it checklist. Oh, come on. There we go. Checklist and week, I don't know, 14, which is week 14. I actually do it of, oh my goodness. Let's say November 30th through December, I don't know. I'm going to make up a date, 8, okay? <laughs> um, and then the description, I like to add in whatever image I use for that week. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick out of this so that you can see what I'm talking about. Each week I have an image that carries through... Um, any type of activity that they use for that week. So week one is the waving ape. Week two is in the beginning, it's chapter one, um, research. So you can see different images throughout. Um, so I add those in. I'm going to pop into this one because I actually need to edit this one for you. So checklist week 11 and the date. That way that blue hyperlink will have the important information when you put it in an announcement um, or in an email or whatever it is. Um, I always make a little note that says be sure to click the blue hyperlink above um, just to make sure that they get all the way into the checklist. Here's my image. You get that by using this little insert image um, option there you seek and find. And then we just go ahead and pop in whatever information it is that they need to do for the week. Okay, so I just easily copied and pasted and updated it from a previous checklist that I have because all of my weeks are pretty standard. The one thing that you wanna make sure and do, if you ever do anything in this box, always hit the save button right away um, because if you go and add in new categories or items, it's going to not save all of these words that you just typed in this box. So what I do is I give them a little heads up. Here's what you have to do this week. And that way they can look at it at a glance. Um, that's completely optional. But sometimes it's nice just to be able to glance at what they need to do. Um... Let's see, right here, what I then do is take whatever the first line item is. If you want to put them in categories, you can. Um, so before Monday, if um, maybe you are doing this for a real-time remote class, you could do that. Um, Monday, before Wednesday. Sometimes I break them into um, different categories about um, things that are for grade versus items that are not for grade. So whatever overarching category you want to use, we're going to do new category. And let's say this is for before Monday. We save that. Then what we're going to do is add a new item. And then you put whatever that item is there. If you have something to link, here's where we come to the link button. Slowly, there we go. Um, and then you find whatever it is that you need to link. So I'm talking about my checklist. So I'm going to come and find, let's see, chapter 12 and my study guide. That's what I need to link is my study guide. So study guide and test bank, study guide and test, test bank, chapter 12. You hit save and voila, 
Where did it go? Oh, you know what happened? This is a tricky thing. Here it is right here. When you make a new item, we have to make sure it's under the right category. So I actually want this in my before Monday category. Then hit save. And if we go all the way to the bottom, here is my new category and my new item. So what's fun is, I'm gonna save and close this. From our view, it's hard to really visualize the different hierarchies. So I'm gonna come in under a student, just so you can see what it looks like from the student view. And we'll just come down. I'm just gonna pick a random one so you can see. So this is what the students see once they click the blue hyperlink. Um, here is the quick rundown of things that they need to accomplish. And then this is our category, read chapter four while completing the study guide and test bank. And this is the item, read chapter four and then the hyperlink. Again, this is the category and then I put in some descriptions, some extra links, and then these are the items that they can check off. So students can come in and boom, boom, hit save. Um, they can take the links and go directly to where they need to go so that they are less likely to get lost um, and then just keep track of everything they need for the week. Okay, I think that's everything to show you. If there's something that I missed, if you want to see something different, let me know, um, but hopefully that helps out. Bye!